Hey guys, it's Sharon Agpaldin and welcome back to Inktober 2016. This is the fifth video in this series which covers day 17 until day 20th and we're pretty much halfway through or at quite past the other and I think I'm going strong. Um, congratulations to me, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for watching if you have been watching this and my other videos maybe. So okay, for day 17, I had the idea in my head already what I wanted to draw but to make sure that I'm able to render it I did two sketches on a different sketch pad just to make sure that I know what I'm doing pretty much so I wanted a pose with a bit more motion and action in it but not explicitly mid motion or mid action rather motion and action is implied just by the way the cloth flows, the way the hair flows, the way she's posed, the camera angle. And these are things that I sort of played around with when I was younger. But I realized that because I did that a lot, I neglected drawing, standing, sitting, and crouching poses. So I practiced that for a long while. And now that I feel like my skill level with, stand with static poses are up to par with my other skills, I'm returning to experimenting with how composition works and I think this turned out pretty cool I'm I like it I'm pretty proud of myself I think and uh, I'm still continuing the pure line art drawings from yesterday since I had fun yesterday drawing like just lines So later on, I'll be using the Unipin Zero uh, Two Fine Liner just to create more line width variety. And please stick around for a few seconds to watch day 18, which is right after this. Hey guys, welcome back. It's day 18. And despite me wanting to do more action y or more um, interesting pieces, today was a bit more static and slow. And I don't know why. I guess it's just my mood today was more of a slow and relaxed feel and I just wanted to draw a girl originally like pushing her hair back and I gave her this somewhat modely pose and then I decided to put her against a window a shopping window background and the entire piece turned out looking like those Instagram um, candid photos that you don't know you're being taken a photo of but you look nice in the photo still which I have never been able to do I mean then again I don't come under the camera a lot because I don't like it I mean I prefer being behind the camera instead of being in front of the camera so it's a one it's it's I'm hyper aware of when a camera is nearby so I kind of like shimmy away from the camera or if ever I do come in front of camera cameras because I was taken by surprise or because it was like a mandatory group pic. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really don't have much to say about this. I'm still doing the pure line art thing and I do actually like how this turned out even though it is more static than what I have been drawing for the past two to three days. But it is a relaxing piece to work on. The only thing I do have to say is that it seems that the head is a bit smaller than it should be. I think it should have been a bit bigger compared to the size or the proportion of the rest of her body. So that's that.
And then, I hope you stick around a bit more for day 18, which again will be right after the preview. Hey guys, welcome back. It's day 19, and I played around with some thumbnails first for today, but I really wanted to do a I really wanted to do a battlefield or a night or something like that. And I remembered that on my Facebook timeline, I found you know those on the day on this day feature that shows pictures or posts that you posted on that same day in the past several years when you've had the account. And I saw a drawing that I posted there seven years ago and that was a knight on a battlefield in full armor. So I decided to draw that again since it's really old and honestly a little bit cringy. I might insert a picture of it somewhere here while this is running but man it was like why how <laughs> um it is a bit embarrassing the least to say so i drew it again for inktober and i actually kind of like how this turned out uh, i didn't go with the full armor thing anymore instead i went for a more light armored knight dude holding a shield partially inspired by mashu from fate grand order because i was drawing saber from fate lately and I wanted to draw some of the characters so I guess this is like my best run for Mashu or Matthew however you want to say her name it is fairly quick and easy uh, I haven't drawn armor in a long time like the really plated armors and not the leather or the cloaks so it was refreshing I guess So, I hope you enjoyed this segment. Please stick around for day 20, 20, uh, I can't speak today. Stick around for day 20 in a few seconds. Hey guys, welcome back. It's day 20 and just like yesterday, I decided to draw another really old piece but this time I posted it or drew it four years ago and this is my original character for an RP group on DeviantArt called Source of Chaos and he was my well character. He's a dragon with really flashy teal hair and what else? Uh, he's a lancer by if he has to choose a weapon he's a lancer and this outfit that he's gonna be wearing is actually designed by one of the admins in the group and I drew him in that outfit four years ago and I decided to draw it again to, you know see how I would show it now with the perspective and all that I might pop in again the original piece somewhere here in the screen just for comparison but yeah Thankfully, um, I woke up early today, so I was able to draw without any worries about having to cook lunch at the same time and edit while lunch is cooking, so thank goodness! Um, other than that, we're already on day 20, so like, weehoo! That's... I didn't expect, well, since I did the test of 69 minutes challenge and I managed to stay until day 40, I guess I'm not that surprised that I lasted until day 20. So hopefully I'll be able to keep the steam for another 10 days of the challenge, or is it 11 days? Either way, I hope I'll be able to last for the until the end of the challenge. And right, my only problem now is that I really am running out out of things to draw, and I haven't been checking the prompts at all anymore. But we'll see. Hopefully inspiration will strike tomorrow and the following days. 
So please stick around. After the preview, I'll be showing all the images I did for this segment of Inktober. And yeah. So this day 17, but I want to draw a cool perspective. Day 18, which is a pretty chill day. 19 was the night, and 20 was the redraw character thing. Follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, and DeviantArt. Like and or subscribe, and see you around.